Hello, my name is Fiona. I am a fully functional, exceptionally articulate, three-dimensional hologram. Welcome to the Farmer's Edge world. Today, you will experience the hollow matrix of data solutions, technology, and innovation. Cutting edge technology clears a path toward effective costs and profits. Digital data solutions lead to a deeper understanding of advanced agribusiness. The hollow matrix is the future, and now is the time to embrace it. Step back and be amazed. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Wade Barnes. The topic I'm going to be speaking about today is one of the most important, exciting, but yet complicated trends in society today. We've never had so much information to process. Half a percent of all the data in the world is actually analyzed. The other 99.5% falls into the category of dark data. The right rate, the right time, the right place, and the right product. As we move into big data, we also have the four Bs. The world population increases dramatically from 1900 until today. Over 1.5 billion people in the early 1900s and today we're at 7.2 billion. It's estimated that we'll be at 9 billion by year 2050. So in order to feed this hungry world, the annual cereal production will need to increase by over a billion metric tons by the year 2050. Good quality farmland is starting to disappear. We expect to, we're expected to produce more food, more feed, and more biofuel in a more efficient, sustainable way, but with less land, less land every minute. 56.8 acres to be precise. With population growth comes an increase of energy demand, which causes CO2 emissions. And in 1900, there was two and a half billion tons of CO2. Today we have 35 billion tons of CO2. It's the equivalency of five metric tons to every living person on the earth. Researchers have studied climate change for several decades. We know now that it's not a buzzword anymore. Water shortage, both in terms of quality and quantity, is an increasing problem. It's going to be one of the biggest challenges the world will face, and agriculture accounts for 70% usage of the world's fresh water. Many of the seed companies believe that there's up to 15% yield potential still left in their varieties untapped, unutilized. These seed companies have boatloads of information on how certain varieties respond to certain soil conditions, to 
to certain seeding rates, to certain weather conditions, to certain fertility programs. So let's look at a typical farm in Alberta. Every production process starts with planning, but in order to build a successful plan, you need data. You need external data, like market information, crop prices, fertilizer prices. In order to create value out of big data, we need to get data on every acre and not just a percentage of the farm. All data collected from all the field needs to flow into the cloud. There's a wealth of data from historical satellite imagery and when we combine that with real-time information, we can make our production zones incredibly accurate. This is the key to our big data path forward. Soil sampling and analysis is one of the most important parts of our big data path. The most progressive way of soil sampling is soil sampling all production zones. But this method gives you the most detailed approach about the information in your field. Farmer's Edge has created some proprietary technology which allows us to, to test for soil texture and water holding capacity, nutrients, organic matter, soil structure and water holding capacity. We can start at these early stages of developing models where we can create a very strong recommendation engine for fertilizer and seed rates. Having your farm fully connected, we believe connects you fully to your customer. Having this type of data will provide information that will connect the farmer much more closely into the supply chain. Customers both want to be connected to the farm real time and they want availability to the data transfer, both from the farm machine and the farm itself. This is going to create opportunities in sustainable premiums, carbon offsets, and identity preserve. As you see as you move forward, there's data partners. And we see that everybody has a stake in that information. Real-time data provides a real-time view of farm's results and profitability. And we hope that we'll be able to soon connect our technology into your financial information on your farm. Why should I spend my time looking at the device in my hand? Wouldn't it be great to hold my kids in my hand and take a picture of that? Picture this. You walk into your field with Google Glass. You're alert to the conditions that are conducive to a disease outbreak. You look at the crop, you confirm the disease. The right rate, the right time is programmed. And the drone goes out and starts spraying immediately. And all you have to do is give a Google Glass command. We'll understand our farm strengths and weaknesses, and seed companies will build that into the varieties that we need. We'll understand the certain type of quality traits that we can produce, and the seed companies will build that into the varieties we plant. It'll be like a prescription map preloaded into your seed.